Shalom, shalom, shalom. We would like to start off by giving our honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash. Want to give double honor to our elder apostles and other bishops of great millstone who are well. Peace and blessings to the word of the house of David D. Lake. And we out of here, Israelite. All right? Uh, we, and we out here once again, week in, week out, twice a week, at the proper side of now, Fall of America, to uplift the, the elect of our people. All right? And, uh, you know, tell our people who we are, man. Uh, all right, and what, what, one thing we're doing are, is we're waking up the elect out of the, the matrix through the spirit of power we have us on our side. Because the, the, rea the, the, the reality behind the matrix is that America is biblically Babylon the Great, and Babylon the Great is about to be destroyed, man. All right, we're at the very, uh, we're very close to the destruction and the taking of Babylon, man. All right? I'm more of a head. Yeah, 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 I, I got something. Okay. Yeah, I get that out the hills. Okay, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 5. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the end of the earth. All right? Let's go, hey, that's the, that's the taking of Babylon, man. Hey, man, we're in a beautiful time, man. Like, we're really about to transition from one continent to the next, from one era to the next. You see where those fitted caps from by a new era? We're about to enter into a new era. An era of peace, man. It's exciting, bro. Are oh, you got it? Yeah. It says, uh, verse, uh, well, I mean, that, that's the point. Since you said you entered into a new area that made me think about it, we had an opportunity to make history. Yeah. You know, be a part of history. Yeah. That's something that's going to be able to remember. That's right, bro. Cause, uh, hey, because uh, since you said that, the most high has created legacies out of us, man. Like every time we do a video, every time we go on the highways and the byways, every time we live life for this truth, that's a legacy. Your story, your life, your losses, it's part of your legacy, man. You know what I mean? This is, huh? It's not as if we're building a legacy, right? Yeah, because everything has an order to Like, the kingdom is going to be an order to it. Like, every camp started in America and every run of the kind branch down. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, it's going to be an order to it. So, all right. those things, man. And really, we're a legacy of the apostles. Yeah. Because they have a whole, um, they have a whole era. They have a whole age. All right, within one west, starting with Elder Abba Bibbis. All right, going down to High Priest Ariyah, King Masha. All right, the fights and the wars and the battles of one west. All right, starting with the elder apostles. All right, the elder apostle of Har, elder apostle of Gabar, elder apostle of Rakha, all right, uh, elder apostle of Ramla, all right, big brother Gad, all of the, the 30 year history they have. And then we sprung off of them, so we're their freaking legacy. All right, so when they even saw us on YouTube in the name of Great Millstone, that was like, whoa, we, we're their fruit. Yeah. But even, because what does a branch do? Like a branch has leaves and branches, twigs, twigs that creates other leaves and branches. So that's that's our, how you go into the flip land of the most high. Yeah. So, but then your your camp comes up, and you have men that come up and take notes for months at a time. Next thing you know, they're in the camp. Yeah. All right? Well, scripture, other men have labor, labored, and you have entered into their labors. Yep. And the Heavenly Father does everything in order. I was thinking about it, you know, um, when the scriptures, you know, you go into the Gospels, yeah, how was shy, he would always take Peter, James, and John with him. Yeah. And you go back to the origin of this thing on this side, you know, you, you mainly had, uh, you know, uh, King Masha, well, you, of course, uh, the other high priest of Iqua and uh, high priest Ariyah. Yeah. I mean, it just makes it like things yeah. in a certain order. Yeah. It's everything that you have uh, our leaders, you know, yeah. that we entered in, into their labor. Yeah. That's right. You know? So this is the beginning of something that's gonna persist on the other side, man. It's 144. It's 144. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, hey, how much more side? And this brings tears to my eyes, man, damn near, man. All right? That remembrance, I'm like, damn. We're about to enter into a whole new world. You know? We're, we're, we're no more gonna to have to hustle and bustle to survive. Strategize how you're gonna pay bills. Strategize how you're gonna to try to help something after you pay bills. 
You no more have to go on Google to find herbs for certain sicknesses that you just sporadically have. Looking at stones you can't buy. Looking at stones you can't buy. Looking at women you can't have. Looking at houses you can't live in, man. Yeah. Like I can add the yep. women you could have, they so defiled, you don't want them. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so they're like, shit. And hey, you, you know what's heavy out, and I don't want to dwell on that too long, but you will see women that you want, right? And then the most I allow you to uh, allow her to open up to you, get the door. Like, uh, Close that door back. Cause, yeah, cause, you know, cause I, I almost faded back in the bushes. Cause, <laughs> cause you realize, like, I like how you look. We open up your world to me. It's like, uh, damn. Tell so, yeah. yeah. the, the idea, bro. Yeah, I like the idea, of it. Then you realize that you've been in the truth for a good minute. Yeah. You've been out of the world for a good minute, and she been in the world for a good yeah, yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah. And as I have to say, the sisters that repent right, and, you know, right. were born again, you know, we, we embrace you. The spirit of Yahweh Shai embrace you. But just the reality of the matrix, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. Let's go, bro. This Galatians, I want to read the NLT. This Galatians 6 and 14, as for me, may I never boast about anything except the cross of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, because of that cross, my interest in this world has been crucified, and the world's interest in me has also died. Oh, this is my wow. Colossians. Because that's a powerful yeah, scripture. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you are a Colossians. You are a man who will not deceive you. Because if you really in this truth, the world doesn't intrigue you, man. Like you don't, you know, you don't vibe with. It. Like you, like you said yesterday, we got a world within ourselves. Yeah, like because you, you was naming the things that come just to that world, man. And like, I, I can remember that. I know we named name incense. Yeah. You know, uh, the way we eat. We, we talking about, you know, nature, the elements. Nature, nature's part of our world, man. And we went to a, uh, we went to that Mediterranean joint yesterday, right? Uh -huh. And then the, the Ishmaelite, he was like, what do you know about Paco, bro? Because I made sure when I asked for it, I, I said it how they said it. Yeah. He was like, Wait a minute, what do you know about Pac? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, come yeah. on, man, we do this, this man. That's our shit, that's man. That's our shit, man. used to Jake being culture. Right. right. Yeah. That's the trace of a prince. Yeah, like a prince can move around, yeah. you know, and he culture. He yeah. know something, he know a little something about everything. Right. Kind of, you know, he know enough to have a, you know, a dialogue about it. He might not be an expert yeah, in right. everything, but he know enough, you know, he culture. A real rounded individual. Yeah. Yeah. Jacob Montreal. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, Elder Michael from Dallas, he made a beautiful point, like in the kingdom, you know, Brothers, you know, hey, I might send my son to this brother's province, you know, for about two decades, man, just so he can be coached in that area of the earth. Yeah. You know, it's it's vice nice. versa. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, that, that, we finna operate like the new era, man. <laughs> this bullshit, yeah. you know. Well, wait a minute, bro, because, and then it's for a purpose. Yeah. Because yeah. you gotta make a prince. Yeah. Like they say in that movie, man, kings are born, they're made. made. But ever since ever since that boy is four or five years old, he's been coaching other tutors, all right, and teachers. What are they tutoring you, man? Are you got one tutor that's gonna teach? Because they say uh, Akbar from the Ottoman Empire, yeah. he was versing like five languages by the time he was what ten. So, but why? Because you have to converse with these different other kings and princes. All right, how do you? Because like a, a merchant. Right, a lot of merchants in the ancient world they knew several languages. That's how you conduct trade. You know, if I if I know this, if I know three, four languages, that opens me up to your world and your trade, man. Yeah. But well, how you gonna go conquer if you don't understand that language? Right. They can be telling you what they finna do to you, and you don't even understand. It. Right. <laughs> exactly. Like you say, so yeah, you got it. That, that's a trick. So a prince can be cultured. I got that example. Let's go, bro. Bro. This go back to Galatians. This was dealing with us as a nation. The Lord, He was grooming us to be royal. Yeah. You know, it says Galatians 4 and 1. Now I say that the heir, as long as he a child, different nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all, yeah. but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the Father. Like, like Deacon Love Michael Allah said, he'll send his seed to a brother's property for two decades. Well, that means you're his tutor for two decades. Yeah. Whatever your expertise is, yeah. and you had this brother under Malak uh, Kazaki Allah, right? Yeah, yeah. You had a brother under him, and in a decade, he's an expert on gemstones. Yeah. He's yeah. an expert on essential oils. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he can dance on the side. Like, okay, he's like, <laughs> good work. Good work. Like, they picked up with everything. <laughs> you know? But like, that's, that's, that's how you groom a man. Yeah. Because the man that's been groomed on this side, that's why they're famous. I was looking at, uh, 
Nick Cannon has a documentary out. I thought it was pretty interesting because he was writing for Keenan and Kel. Yeah. He, Nick Cannon was, a, but he was writing at 17 yeah. for Keenan and Kel. Wow. He was doing stand up since he was 12 or 13. You see? So like going into like being grown for two decades, the interview was like, he was like, man, it takes 10,000 hours to be a master or something. He was like, so by the time you was 21, you had hit that 10,000 hours. Cause he wow. started, he was like 12, 13. Uh, he was a, he was making mixtapes and demos as a rapper when he was 12, 13. That proved that's when you become a man. When you 12, 13. So he was, pra he was doing it for fun at 10, 11. But he was just, Nick Cannon was naming these different spaces he existed in since he was like 12, 10 out, of, out there in Southern California. So it was like by the time he was 19, he was that guy. You know what I mean? So just imagine you did all Israelite sons like that. I be thinking like, damn, even on this side, what if you had a, you, you know, like, I'll just make it real quick. You got brothers in the camp, right? They've been raised by their uncles and granddad. They've been working with their uncles and granddad since they was eight years old. Riding tractors in the country since they eight years old. All right? Playing sports since they're like 10. Now they're like 21, they got a house, got a wife. All right, they got, they got hustles and businesses. Why? Because they've been, they've been under tutors really since they was like eight. Cultivated. Am I, uh, may I back some more? Yep. No, because basically, uh, everything you're saying is within reason and it's within purpose. Yeah. That like you got somebody, I, I'm not sure, I think it was a woman, but, uh, you know, the brother Yashalon from the main camp, he had shared the post. Basically, you know, this woman was asking, do we marry people in Great Millstone? You know, and I want to say, you know, you, you got uh, Deacon Haka of uh, the infamous Sakari, you know, they, they gonna do what they do, they gonna talk what they talk. But basically, I, I wanna say they marrying people now. Well, that, that's not consistent with prophecy, man. And pretty much we, we're getting the backlash of that because like we a camp that don't do it. But everything the Malak is naming, along with this brother here and this brother here, is within reason, it's within purpose. Basically, we, we come into Yahweh Shai's kingdom. That's when we gonna do these particular things that y'all wanna do now, man. And, and we talk about sovereignty and power arranged marriages and marrying a brother with this yeah, sister, yeah, 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 yeah. that's when you exist as a sovereign nation. It really wouldn't make sense to do that now. And then, like I said, you don't need uh, 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 men of very real strong marriage, man. Yeah. Because under two witnesses, let everything be established. All you need yeah. is you and that woman and the most high. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the marriage. Yep. And then if you're an Israelite man, guess what? You have a shot over the priesthood to every brother. So you have the authority as a priest. Yeah, under your house shot true. with you and your woman at the most high, and you can ordain your own marriage, man. Right now it's spiritual. Yeah. In the ancient world it was physical. Yeah. We had this big marriage and uh, but like you yeah. said, like we're in a time <clears throat> where everything, hey, I die a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest of a priest within yourself, man. Yeah. It's spiritual on this side. Yeah. It's private on this side. Man. And 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 it's sad it's, it may hurt for you to hear it. What, what the Malak just named is uh, what people in the world term shacking. But, but, but that's marriage according to the scriptures, man. Yeah. You know, just because our four parents, you know, they may frown upon it, they, they, they in the world. Yeah, but they, you know? they say frown on shacking, but they ain't poor. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then, then they'll frown on shacking, but they all had sex before so-called marriage. Did you check that out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a lot of people, yeah. they'll commit adultery like a motherfucker until you get so-called married. Yeah. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll try to holler at your woman if you ain't got a ring on her hand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hypocrites. Man. Hypocrites, man. It's like, self righteous. It's self righteous, man. Like, it's bullshit, man. Matter of fact, I got that. Yeah, yeah. I think got the Colossians. Let's go, bro. Oh, yeah. So, Colossians 3, uh, I'm going to read from 1 down to 3. Okay, come on. Uh, if ye then be risen where Yahweh shot, seek those things which are above where Yahweh shot sit up on the right hand of Yahweh. And what's that above, man? The kingdom. Being kingdom minded. You know what I mean? Man, keep, man, your whole mindset will change. Your, your actions in life will change if you orient yourself towards the kingdom, man. Seeking the things that are, are above. They ain't just talking about dying and going to heaven. It's about being kingdom. Yahweh Shah was next world oriented. Yahweh Shah was moving in, in the development of disciples to move for the next world. All right? Set your affection on things above, yeah. not on things on the earth. Yeah, like uh, joining up, uh, marrying each other. Like allowing another man to marry you with a woman, all right. And a lot of those congregations, we all we always hear about stories of adultery, man. All right, that's that's your situation. And then I'm gonna tell you something else. 
your your thing is classified as shacking, it'll be way more peaceful than going out and having those official marriages, man. Yeah. People might look down on it, but y'all might have more peace within yeah. y'all thing yeah, yeah. Than, than the world's yeah. Yeah. $20,000 wedding yeah. that y'all finna get a debt over and y'all divorced in three years. And it's basically really to, like, to please other people. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. Like, and the woman making it about yeah, the woman make it about her. Yeah. She come so everybody stand up when the woman comes down. Yeah. It's a whole ritual with that shit, man. You know, but, but like the brother said, be, being kingdom minded, man. Yeah. Like you say, this starts with how we operate now. Because yeah. at the end of the day, we all kings, but guess what? We kings that serving each other, man. Yeah. Hey, because if, if, if a brother might be going through something, guess what, man? Another brother got to step up and hold it down until that brother get back online. Yeah. Like in the kingdom, a brother might man. have to go with your house shot to, uh, 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 to set up a new planet. You know, yep. and then he leave his sons in charge, and then he be like, "Hey, hey, bro, my sons in charge over here. Go check on them every now and then, yep. make yep. sure everything, you know, just yep. every now and then. So when he come back, everything in order. Like this is this is when we was talking about kingdom mind, and like we really start moving like this now, because we moving like this on the micro scale now. But when we have a shot come, he gonna macro this thing, man. Yeah, you know, it, 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 it's going to the next level. And, and, you know, and, and, and what is a king? It's a government. Yeah, yeah. So. Me, we're being groomed to really run governments. So going back to your sons, hold it down your stand while you help your house side to develop a planet. Because you got some on this side called land developers. Mm. So you'll see flat land, right? Yeah. But you have land developers that's going to turn that particular area into a city, to a dwelling. So I believe through the spirit, we're going to be land developing. Yeah. Earth, we call it city, city development. That's going to be our whole thing. So you're going to be engineering your sons to be builders, all right, and also maintainers. Cause we gotta build and maintain societies. Be administrators. Be administrators. Yeah. All right, cause like I said, we say the kingdom, the kingdom, and we think about us flying with a cape. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no man, we're gonna really be maintaining humanity. Yeah, landing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. That's the accolade of it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, right. It's beautiful. Like, you have to, you have to manage paradise. Have you ever been around like a botanical garden or like a, a garden or a paradise you gotta pay to go to? And then what happened? It lose funding, poor management, then you go back and it's ruined. It's on this side. That's Jackson Zoo. Yeah. That's Jackson Zoo, right? You have to manage paradise. There's rules that have to be put in place. You got it, brother. I got a quote. Yep. This uh, Luke 19 and uh, 16, I read in NLT, for the point in verse 17. Luke 19 and 16, the first servant reported, Master, I invested your money and made 10 times the original amount. Yep. Well done. The king exclaimed, and the king is Yahweh Shai, you are a good servant. You have been faithful with the little I entrusted to you, yep. so you will be governor of ten cities as your reward. That's the kingdom. That's the reality of crowns being put on the elect head, man. See, it ain't the little cute. Yeah, it ain't the little cute. That's, that's the difference between the elect and the, and the rest of the nation. The rest of the nation is not out here teaching. There are going to be citizens within Israel. We are to be governors so it's not just ego like okay i've got it like you said it ain't just to be cute i got my crown i got my concubines you know i'm my, drinking my big gauntlet yeah, yeah man, my big gauntlet, gauntlet. Yeah, the, <laughs> just drinking and you're just kind of out of it all day like no you're because what was king solomon doing when he was a king he was managing matters that was civil matters like the two harlots that was fighting over the baby that he had a decision he had an answer we're going to be doing that yeah we, you have to manage humanity Go ahead, brother. Uh, uh, go, go ahead. Please, please. We have to manage humanity. That's why I said you're going to be kings and priests. Because the heathen are not going to be a part of the new covenant. They're not going to be made righteous innately. So they're going to have to make have, uh, sacrifices for their sins. Well, yo, we, we, we ain't going to make no sacrifices. Uh, oh, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. But we're yeah. going to have to manage the heathen, man. All right? We're going to have to manage humanity. All right? Yeah. That's, that's confirmation, man. Yeah, yeah, you're about to manage humanity. I was, I was just going to add, like we said, with King Solomon, the 40 years of peace came with him, like we said, with him managing that, that time period because, you, you know, you just, you think about 40 years, but you got to think about how 40 years is to us. You got a year, you got different situations that go on throughout that year, and you got to manage it because Israel won perfect. So, you know, Israel had problems, but like you said, you had a righteous king with his mind set on managing the kingdom. And that's, that's how the kingdom of uh, you know, the nation of Israel was established during that time period. So this is what we're coming back into, right?
you know? Like, this is what this is why we always go up to, like, we have to understand what we're becoming. You know, we're not just here, to, okay, to look deep, you know, and bring out all these precepts. Like, no, nah, we have to understand what's coming to the world, what you have a shot is about to bring to the world, man. And that's a, a whole new kingdom. A whole new rulership, man. You know, Yahweh Shah is going to bring that new era as the form is going into, man. A new era of reigning and righteousness, man. That's what this thing is all about. It's the good news. And what is righteousness? <laughs> maintaining the laws that is the commandments in the earth. You have, the laws are there to maintain paradise. This planet earth that we inhabit was originally meant to be a paradise, man. They what said it? maintain, imagine, you know, the father's business. The father's like, business, man. Basically, like, the father hand off the business to Yahweh Shai and his people. So it's, it's a family business now. You know? Think about you it. You don't get it. You don't get I mean, y'all get it. See, now I see why the spirit been on me to look at certain things, right? Like Elon, right? They have within their custom to manage your wealth within the family. Yeah. So the whole thing is we have to pass down this wealth to our predecessors. How do we keep the wealth in the family? So the families have a bank within the family. They have lawyers within the family to maintain the wealth in the family. Damn. So you, that's how you see Ishmael and Elon. They have their sons at the gas station, their daughters at the gas station, because they're going to pass down these systems of entrepreneurship to their sons and daughters. Con, con. You know? Same thing in the kingdom. Yahweh is going to pass down the systems of running the earth to the elect. You won't, like you say, for generations and generations, because you don't even you don't even know where they live. You don't you know you never know where they live, where their kids go to school at. Right. All you know is you see them at the gas station, yeah. and then next thing you know they own it. They own it, and uh, you, you start them off as sons and daughters. That's when we came into the truth. We came in as babies. Our spiritually, she might have been 30, 40, but you're still spiritually a baby. But then you start to be groomed and into rulership. The disciples are really being groomed into rulership, man. You see that. What do they do? They start they start their children off at base level, yeah. taking out the trash yeah. in the store, help them stop, yeah. run the old truck, you know, doing the minuscule things, and then they grow into, okay, they own them, man. And that's what the Lord is doing with us with the earth. That's why we can tell, you know, there's him starting us at the bottom, yeah. and we're working our way up, man, yeah. you know? Yeah, and it's definitely from the Father. It was the yeah. part that drove out with an eight on it. Okay. It's the, father, this, the, the Father doing all this, man. You know, and even just a quick footnote, because you see that we don't have sisters part of our congregation. We know it's, you know, certain women that keep up with us. And that's a beautiful thing, you know, for you sisters that sincerely believe and subscribe to the message of salvation, and you have about y'all going to be rewarded. But the Heavenly Father, he, he, he does make separation. Even going back to Elon, I know sometimes, you know, when we'll see Elon, the men will walk with the men, yeah. the women will walk with the women, but to maintain their order. You know? Yeah, they maintain order and keep folly out the uh, situation. Yeah. Man. And it's not to say we don't fuck with women, it's just order. Yeah. yeah. That's why like women work being fully covered, it's order. Yeah. yeah. You know? Even men being fully covered. You know, we're not supposed to be, you know, also, also you know, yeah, we ain't out here wearing, you know, you know what I'm saying? Got our thighs all yeah, out, you know, some new style, yeah, yeah. heavy quadriceps all out. Yeah, 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 with the with, with, with the yeah, cut yeah. jeans. Cut the and jeans, shorter. yeah, man. Yeah, because even in the Eastern culture, like you know, because even pants. Really supposed to be covered with your garment on top of your pants. Right, right, right. You know, yeah. we don't get all like that on the west side, on the western hemisphere. But really, the, it's like man, supposed to be fully covered. Yeah, it's just like to quote the apostle uh, Rakayala. He said it. And, you know, he was in the spirit. He was mad because you know he he grew up you know uh, native. You know what I'm saying? Because he Reuben. But basically, like, you, you know, he's like you get upset speaking a white man language, wearing a white man fucking clothes. Yeah. You know, yeah. like so really like you know this is way off. It's way off. You know? bro. You know, Jake used to have a mustache, no beard, goatee, and goatee, yeah. You know, all that, man. Going back to the law, how it was meant to manage paradise. Yeah. And then also the law protected us from our nature. Come on, man. <laughs> you Come see? Come on, man. Why the woman was covered up, especially she was married, you know, she would be even, her face would be covered up. Yeah, yeah bro. Because they protect, they, they protect women, you know, and men from their nature of lust, man. Yeah. You know, so this is why the Lord has this order set up, and you bring a lot. When you do what they call co-ed, you know, and you get the all of the environments where co-ed exists, what do you have, man? Hook up culture. 
you know, college campuses where the coach oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is hooked up coach. I heard a story when I was a little, like 10, 11, 12, 13 years old, and they said the Boys and Girls Club used to just be called the Boys Club. It wasn't a Boys and Girls Club. It was a Boys Club. And when, it is, when they decided to integrate girls with the Boys Club, a bunch of girls got pregnant. Yeah. So right when they... It's nature. <laughs> yeah, it's nature. <laughs> like when they, when they decided to do co-ed like you explained it, yeah. The chicks got pregnant. Yeah. And what's what's like what's high school culture? It's little to do with school. Yeah. It's real like, okay, who's a, who who is his girlfriend? Yeah. All right. Then you, you it's a, it's a fashion show. Yeah. It's not, your spirit not the same when there's a bunch of females around you. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Popularity yeah. coming to play. Popularity yeah. coming to play. Yeah. Now you now you want to fight a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you got a you know, high, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and, and women. You have a lot of women. <laughs> They was in school making like straight A's and they was introverted until they fell in love with a dude. Yeah. And now it's like, all oh, this shit went out the window. Now she just caught up with him. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, nah, man, we weren't supposed to co air like that. Yeah. You know? That's why you had like certain, uh, well, you know, probably like Catholic churches or something like that where they had just a strictly male and yeah. being strictly female school. Yeah. But now you're able to focus better. Yeah. You're able to really learn what you need to, to carry you on and do whatever you need to do in life. And then afterwards, that's when you know you get your man, you know, you gotta work together. Because you gotta have the, the basics of living before you join your life, life with a woman. Yeah. If you never maintained an apartment, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You never had a, I mean, let's just on this side. You never, you, you never kept a job for an extended period of time, or you never maintained an apartment, you never maintained a vehicle and managed bills. How can you be the man in your situation? Yeah. You know what I mean? Somebody have to teach you that part first. She never kept house. She never kept house. But you know, like I said they pregnant. Yeah, but she pregnant. <laughs> you know, she 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 did master the art of posing on social media, yeah, yeah. and but 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 actually managing or yeah. keeping house. And that's a scary judgment that's gonna happen to you women that's basically in love with your beauty. You know, and that 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 queen of heaven image that's gonna be broken. Yeah. You know, yeah. that, that that's sorcery, man. That's, that's bitch, bitch y'all on you know, I just, you know, on social media, yeah. all these fucking pictures and shit. Yeah. 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 You know, that's a, that's a career battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, nah, it, it is. It's career, what you're talking about. Posing, like, that shit is career. They call it IG models and shit. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And, like, and you're, you're basically, your body is being deified. Yeah. You know? Diana Ephesus. Diana Ephesus. And women always go on YouTube and say, like, women who got married, they say, like, they have to shake out of that spell of just being pretty in a marriage because it doesn't work. And they step into reality, like, man, this man has an expectation of you. Yeah. yeah. You know? That's the new thing, though. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 1. Let's go. There are any of you having a matter against another go to the law before the unjust and not before the saints? Yeah. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? Because a lot of times you'll come into this truth and you don't know why you're in the truth. Like, why did the Most High call you into this truth, man, into this marvelous light? You've been called to being a king. You're being you're being groomed. You, the old you, your alias in Babylon has been destroyed struck by lightning. Now the Most High is spiritually grooming you to judge matters on the earth. That's what we're going to do in the future. Judge matters in the earth. 144,000 judges. You know? Because what were the sons of God? According to certain history, they were basically judges. City judges are in the garden, man. Alright? We have went into that. Ooh, yeah, that book you C had. City state. City state judges state. who were basically judged the other nations. Because right, if you notice some of the most prominent judges on TV are like Israelite judges. Judge Mathis, Judge Joe Brown, uh, I think Judge Julia is a nigga. She she's a Syrian. I think, is she Syrian? Uh, she may be. I'm just going to look it up. But she got the, she got the accent. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're uh, even the females, most of the most popular judges are Israelites on TV. And it's like, damn, they're spiritual because the sons of God, the sons of God were Israelites. So they, they naturally make good judges. All right. Uh, verse 2, read again. It says, Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are you not un are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Right. But the, the point is the saints, which are Israelites, because according to some, only saints are Israelites. Those who receive the laws of Yahweh are Israelites, man. But the elect of Israel are going to be groomed, all right? Room to judge the world, bro. All right? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll
uh, back in Colossians chapter two, uh, three, verse two again. Set your affection on things above the kingdom, not on things on the earth. The Esau's rulership. Yeah. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with uh, Yahweh. I think that was the opening scripture you had, or the second scripture. How, like, basically, you killed this life. Yeah. You killed the uh, Tyrone in this life. Yeah. You killed that alias, that, that old man alias, man. But now the new creature is being developed, man. All right, the most High is developing us, man. And that's, a, that's a sacrifice. Yeah. Because as you become dead to this world, the world becomes dead to you. Because the world knows its own. Yep. And it's something that you just have to, especially if you was a, a man, you know, that you can pretty much, you know, you, you try to have your way with women. But then you come into the truth and, you know, you fall off. Yep. You know? Or you a woman, you a pretty woman and you was getting the perks of Babylon, you know, clean the hip, you know? But you come into the truth and you lose those perks, yep. you know? So that, that's a sacrifice that has to be made. You know, when we come into this thing, like being dead to this world, man, ain't gonna lie like this shit just feel great. Yeah. Like, now it's a transition. You yeah. know, you gotta get used to that shit. Like, man, okay, I know why. Cause all you say, like, you know, Said, like, you come into this thing and you don't even know why. Yeah, cause it's the reality. <laughs> right. You gotta know your why. I was watching Bobby Price and he was explaining like how to keep your longevity in your diet. It was like, you gotta know why you're plant based. Yeah, yeah. You go to these restaurants, you go out to eat, you're gonna get tempted. Yeah. You gotta remember why you're doing this thing. Yeah. Same thing in this truth, man. Sometimes yeah. you gotta know why. Yeah. Like, why you not commit adultery? Why you not don't have a hairline? Why you, you know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta remember, hey, hey, you gotta remember why. It's part of the bitterness. Yep. You know, then when uh, Dr. Bobby Price talked about the bitterness, like of his detox, he said, people complain about the bitterness, I tell them, you know, I'm tasting the results. <laughs> you know, like I said about how I shot, taste to see that the Lord is good. Yeah. You right. know, there's some bitterness in it, but then look at the results of it. So that's up for the joy set before him. <laughs> yeah. Because most of us, when it comes to those physical diets, we're on the, the path of death. Like you're, you're dying slowly, and the diet, the thought of it, the the thought of the detox is grievous. But look at a brother that comes out of the uh, detox. Like, man, you're going, you got the trail. Yeah. Now you're on the path of life. Like, you got to shine, man. Yeah. So the the process is always grievous. All right, but like I said, the wages of sin is death. So same thing. We're on the path of death until your house shot struck us. <laughs> to your house shot struck us and we had to detox from the world. Yeah. It tells you in Proverbs 18, a man has been separating himself, seeking and intermeddling with all things. That's that spiritual detox. Alright? Psalm chapter 122 uh, verse uh, 1 down to 5. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the heavenly father. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together, whether the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Yep, yep. read that more and get that in the NLT real quick. What is Psalm uh, 122? Okay. You know, just to bring it home. You know, show you that it's, it's speaking of actual rulership. Here stands the throne where judgment is given. The thrones of the dynasty of David. <laughs> you see, so the Lord is reestablishing that dynasty in the earth, man. Yeah, man. You know, we, we, we're inheriting uh, something that was promised to our forefathers for the most high, man. You know, it's being established now. He raised up the house of David to fulfill these promises, man. Because Yahweh Shai is going to come reign on what? The throne of David. <laughs> okay? To fulfill the promise made to David about him having a, 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 a heir that will sit on this throne eternally, man. And the throne of David consists of all these families. Yep. yep. It consists of twelve families, man. Yep. It's not. It's not just uh, Judah. Yep. You yes, know, and it's yes, not. Yes. And it's not just the southern kingdom. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's that's scary in a, in the side of the evil. Yep. To have all twelve tribes come together as one. Yep. Yep. And that's why King Solomon had twelve lions by his throne. Yep. Twelve statues of lions. Yeah. And I talked to Cap Tazmo last night because of you know the fight between uh, Canelo and uh, Charlo. Basically, um you know Tazmo makes some spiritual points. He was like, you know, we, we know what's going on, we just view, view it as a fight. The people in the world they view this as black versus New Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they like they 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 really, you know, like 
Instacart, Instacart. Yep. They really won't, you know, Canelo will win, you know what I'm saying? Cause, you know, you know they say people. And then like, as far as, you know, Judah, they really want Charlotte to win. Well, really, like, we know the scoop. We know, yeah. really, we the same people. Yep. You know what I'm yep. saying? But the heathen get off on us fighting yep. each other. Man, you know, that commentator said, he said something to the, because it was, it was, I think it was two Northern Kingdom. Yeah, but they was beating the shit out of each other. And the commentator was like, this is exciting. Yeah, right. I'm like, well, you would say some shit like that, man. Yeah, cracker, man. Yeah. yeah, but it was a Jake beating the shit out of an Edomite. I bet he wouldn't say that. No. You know? No. When Jake is killing each other, beating the, when the northern and southern kingdom is divided, oh, that's exciting, man. When we're the circus in the gladiator ring killing each other. There's more proof in the kingdom. We're going to have gladiator games with E versus E. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're going to be out in the table. <laughs> 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 Yeah, bro. Hey, uh, then when you go into a rulership, what you have is the king, and then you, what you have around the king is a uh, is all these different families, aristocratic families, all right, that have a place in the king's court. You know, and that's how it's gonna be. Each brother, each brother of the 144,000 represent one of those elite families, all right, that's gonna be directly linked to your house shot and their own day. You know, in yeah. The yeah, he go to like when you go into the history is always the, the ruler and then his families, okay, uh, uh that's within the courts of their ruler that really run their kingdom. You know, that's why you see some movies the king will make decisions kind of based on how the nobles, you know, you what you call the nobles. You know, the hundred and forty four thousand are gonna be those noble families within the throne of your house shot. Man. You got some bro? What you just said, yeah. Oh yeah, because I thought about uh, King uh, Ahasuerus. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but yeah, he was yeah. also called King Xerxes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to get that Ahasuerus? Yeah, but I was gonna get the, the royal court, yeah. the feast. Yeah. Cause he had like 126 provinces. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You ever about the shop? Wow, man. Cause he had like 100. Cause there was princes and governors over all those provinces, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Yeah. So that's, that's the ancient world. Come on, man. You know? You gonna get your first? Yeah, you get your. Uh, Isaiah 32 and 1, yeah. it says, Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, yeah, and princes shall rule in judgment. And that's not a metaphor. That's not like something you just sing in so called church, man. No, Yahweh Shah is really going to have a military coup overthrow the dukes of evil. And he's going to replace the, the rulers of their kingdom with the elect. And he's going to administer each uh, elect over a certain providence, man. If I, if I can add, like with a coup, what you will have those families to see that the person that's in charge, like, be bad for the kingdom. Yeah. So what they'll do, they'll have these secret councils and they already establish another leader. Yeah. And then they'll set their coup up and get that nigga off the throne yeah. and read and start and install someone else. All right, that's going to be better for the kingdom. Right? Yep. <laughs> because, see, you know, what the elites do, you got Northern Kingdom, right, or in Southern Kingdom in these different countries like Haiti and Nicaragua. Yeah. If you're not doing the will of the elite, then they'll do a military coup. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and then yeah, put an implant, yeah, put a puppy there. Yeah. Well, we're going to do a little something like that too. Yeah. But by default, we're going to overthrow the heathen anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It's uh, the book of Esther, chapter 1, verse 1. Now it came to pass in the days of Osiris, that is, Osiris, which reigned from India even unto Ethiopia over a hundred and uh, seven and twenty provinces. One hundred, I stand corrected. One hundred twenty-seven provinces, man. Yep. You know what a province is? It's basically like states. states. So that was like I think you did the research on it. How much it surpassed America's rulership? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's why America's at the Three bottom of the square acres. Two million square acres. That's why America is at the bottom of the rulership. It's not the, it's not the most prominent rulership. Right? It's the most low level. Because right? you had the Babylonian rulership, then the uh, the Medio Persian Empire. You know, but I think Babylonian was superior in other ways, but as far as mass, it was the Medio Persians. Mm -hmm. All right? As they spread from uh, India to Ethiopia. So I think, you know, India, you got all Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria. Joy. Then you got, then you got uh, northern Africa. So it was from India, from Elon, man, now all the way over to northern Africa today, man. And then um, there was no planes. <laughs> so all this was done on boat and foot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you, you got to conquer thousands of acres. Yeah. Boat and feet. Yeah. It's uh, like I was just saying, it took time. Yeah. yeah. Verse two. 
It says, it says that in those days when the king Osiris sat on the throne of his kingdom, which was in Shushan, the palace, in the third year of his reign, he made a feast unto all his princes and his servants, the power of Persian media, the nobles and princes, and the princes being before him. You read that the NFT says in the third year of his reign, he gave a banquet for all his nobles and officials. He invited all the military officers of the Persian media, media as well as the princes and nobles of his provinces. And if you watch the movie like One Night Without a King, yeah. it showed it. And it showed Elon. It was Elon with the tables. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like you said, it's really like, what do my, my men, you make sure that they're in the green. Yeah. And you know, it's really about them, man. Yeah. Like you got the governor of Mississippi, right? He got he get a lot of bad flack because he took that money. Uh, that was supposed to go to like Jake and food stuff and stuff, and his friend used it and spent it on himself, basically. Yeah. But what the governor does, I noticed how they move. He really moved for his friends. Yeah. The lobbyists that put him yeah. there, yeah. The, the people in, he really moved for his friends, man. Yeah. You know. And like in the kingdom shit, it's gonna be a house shot of 144,000. All right, the decisions are gonna be made based off that mindset, you know what I mean? The king's table. The king's table, man. St. John chapter 15, verse 14. It says, ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I called you not servants, but the servant know, knoweth not what the, his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father I have made known unto you. And that's part of the, uh, that table council you know he's he disclosing the, the will of your house because you got something called nepotism yeah. and that's when you help it goes back to nephew yeah. a lot of times you put your son on a higher position without merit per se and then you have cronism cronism goes back to cronies you put your cronies on you put your friends on man yeah i know in the ancient world like when a man was uh when a certain man was was liked per se or favored by a king you say well you know this is my cousin yeah. Like you pretty much like taking them in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. First yeah. yeah. First yeah. 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 Wow. yeah. Basically like you get brought into the family. So. Yeah. And even in the in the, uh, in the Middle East, you watch the princes of Ishmael. It might be a thousand people in the royal courts. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. The royal family ain't just like this size. Yeah. Not like a thousand people that belong to that royal family. Yeah. Cause you got oh, what the the like different generations, right? Yeah. The, uh, no, I'm, yeah. I like the, the father's yeah. son, but yeah. the uncles and it's an, it's a family. It might be a thousand people in that family. Yeah. And the friends of the family, the other rich people that's associated with the family. Yeah. You know, it's really about them. They making moves going to enrich their kingdom and their and their family. Yeah. And they keep their relationship going, like you said, from generation to generation. Yeah. They're gonna be the same way in the kingdom of heaven. There ain't gonna be no generation where we fall off or. We don't we don't agree or something. It's gonna forever be a tightly fitted family. Because you even have certain elite banking families. You know, you watch the, the, the history on them. Some of those banking families allegedly lost some of their wealth because they had a poor system of passing it down to the next generation. But it was like disputes within the family and all that. Like you said, with this family, it's gonna be continuous. Right? I got a definition. Okay. Huh. All right, this is a uh, cronyism. It says the appointment of friends and associates to positions of authority without proper regard to their qualifications. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are unlearned people. Yeah, yeah. How they, how they preach with this authority? Yeah. How shot put them on? Hey, you have a shot. <laughs> you have a shot. Look, because let's imagine we walk in by the reservoir. You see your dad fishing. You have a shot, say, follow me and I'll make you a fisher of men. I mean, he's he just a fisherman. You know what I'm saying? You and your dad buy a boat, like, I would make y'all fishers of men. You know what I mean? Like, he took laymen, us laymen, man. Yep. He took men who grew up in the streets. Now we're disciples. You know, now we're apostles of the, of, of the, of the doctrine. You know what I'm saying? And then he told him, he turned around and told him that you were me that followed, followed, you were with me from the beginning. Yep. You were, they were there with me from the beginning. And that's the plot twist. You know, we were with you, have a shot in the spirit world. Making that that uh, covenant with the Most High, we're going to be put in bodies for this particular work to be done, man. You know? Yeah, so, yeah, come. Yeah. I got that. Come. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 26. And I will restore 
Thy judges is at the first. And who's the judges, man? The elect, the sons of God. You know, it's the first, and they're going to be restored in the kingdom as a, as a ministers of Yahweh's kingdom, the Father's business. Like, hey, yeah, because what, what, what do you? What happens when you uh, perfect the system? You replicate it. Yeah, franchise. Because when they first put the first McDonald's, it wasn't the McDonald's that we know today. Some other men took over that business and put a, a better system in there. When they perfected that system, then they replicated it. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So once you perfect that system, you replicate it. Right? So now what the elect are going to do, they're going to make franchises of Jerusalem all over the, uh, the, in the universe. Say, in my father's house and many mansions. Yep. Because you can't enjoy paradise unless you have a system to maintain. Yeah. That's why it says in Isaiah 60, who are these that fly in the clouds? And yeah. the chariots going to be going out to these different galaxies in the universe. Because that's, that's what we did as the Moors. Yeah. We, was, we was under the influence of Islam, but it, the, the empire spread it all right, through the Moors going on crusades, conquering the enemies, but then making it a Moorish empire. Put Islamic laws. That's why you got Jake in West Africa. There's what? Muslims. All right? And I will restore thy judges is at the first, and thy counselors is at the beginning. Hey, when you have a shot went to Peter and said, follow me, I'll make you a fisher of men, there was a judge being restored. Because yeah. he knew who he was walking up to. He knew he was walking up to King Masha. You know, King David. But he came back in that coronation as layman. But we're all innately kings, man. But that's heavy too. Like showing you, because to these men were all, they were they were top tier yep. during that time. Like I said, King David. Yep. You know, and uh, of course Yahweh Shai. Because you know, because our Lord was pretty much, you know, able, he was suffering during the time of the Roman Empire too. You know, so what suffering with his disciples. He came you know? back as the carpenter's son. And this is your Howard shot. The second, the, the second in command of existence in the universe. He came back as the son of a carpenter. So we all came back really as laymen in a regeneration, man. Under a conquered uh empire. Because we were under the Romans, so Jerusalem was conquered. We're all being taxed by the Romans. So we all came back in the reincarnation as just regular men. Alright? It's like a it's like a uh, a twilight zone. It was like, now we're in the twilight zone. That's why I said I've seen kings send their servants and servants on, upon horses. Like a parallel universe, man. Yeah, Positive copy called a bizarre world. Yeah, man. <laughs> bizarre world. Yeah. And I'll restore thy judges is at the first, and thy counselors is at the beginning. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment and her converse with righteousness. That's the point. There's the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 25. But that which you have already, hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keeping my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation. Going back to the chronicle. Yep. They that keep their works, you know, the Lord is going to exalt those men. You know, the ways that make them a governor over 10 cities. You know, because when you have a new regime come in, okay, they set up, all right, leaders under them, you know, that's after their mind, okay? When the Greeks came into power and they come to different lands, what did they do? They set up Greek overlords, all right, to rule their newly conquered land. Well, how was Shai coming to conquer the earth? So he's going to set up Israelite overlords, okay, to, to rule different provinces in the earth, man. And that's, 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 that, if that ain't fucking exhilarating and exciting, they have, they have systems you can implement in other societies, you know? Ahead, it's uh, Matthew 19 to 28 in the NLT. Yeah, I shall reply, I assure you that when the world is made new and the Son of Man sits upon his glorious throne, you who have been my followers will also sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. When he said the world made new, he's talking about a new government, new management, man. Okay, a new regime. Yeah. That's the, the age is going to be made new, the era is going to be made new. Okay? Because going back to ancient empire, man, you went from the age of the Assyrians to the age of the Babylonians. Yep. From the Babylonians to the medio Persian. Okay, so everything that the Assyrians had established, guess what? The Babylonians came and modified it to their liking, man. Yep. Then the medio Persians came in and modified the Babylonians to their liking. Then the Greeks, Romans, so forth and so on to yep. what we have today. 
Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Last, like the, nah, it, it was absorbed. Yeah. Like yeah. That, 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 that energy was absorbed. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They absorbed it and modified it to what? They're like it. That's why you have, you, when you peel the veil, pierce the veil of the American system, it goes back to Egypt. Yep. You know, the, the entities is worship. Yep. Seven Rambles, Tammuz, Christianity, yep. it goes back to Babylon. Yep. Because when the Grecians came into power and the Romans came into power, where did they get that, that, that structure from? Yep. Egypt. So he, Edom absorbed all that. He, he absorbed it. And I said, and modified it. Yeah, 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 and put them in my faces. It was whitewashed. Yeah. You know? So it's, a it's a beautiful thing, like you said, that we're coming into, man. Like, And that's why we always put the, the, the emphasis on what we're becoming. You know? We, we're becoming, all right, joint heirs. <laughs> you know? And you start thinking like that now on the micro level, and then like I say, when Howard Shah comes, he's gonna magnify it on the global level, man. Yeah. We you know? becoming gods. Yeah, yeah. We right now we on our apprenticeship. Yep. <laughs> you know, we 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 on, we on our apprenticeship, man. And then we are gonna really reap the benefits of rulership at the coming of Yahweh Shah, man. You know, but we gotta keep leveling up in the spirit, man, until we get to that point where we're gonna be changed. And then we're gonna rule the earth, man. That's right, bro. Like this is a reality. You know, this is how the this this is how the world works. Okay, Esau give us Democrats, Republicans, uh, 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 prime ministers, presidents. And so that's some bullshit, man. The earth has always been ran by kings, man. And right now, the kings are the elites. These people ain't got no power. And then that's another thing. Uh, I know being very close, but it's embarrassing. Like these niggas that got money. Mm -hmm. But then he saw a, a barrister nigga to show they ain't got no power. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, that's yeah. embarrassing. Like, yeah, Kanye man. was a billionaire, but then he riding around trying to find his daughter's birthday party. I don't know nobody tell him what his daughter's birthday party is. But you a billionaire and got all this shit. That shit, that shit fucking embarrassing, man. Nick Cannon got to apologize for seven years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, all them niggas. Yeah, Ice Cube did too. Yeah. yeah. Kyrie Irving, all them niggas, man. Jackson. They must be all shaky and yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's embarrassing, man. So you see, these niggas ain't got no power. So he, I'd rather be, at least I'd rather be a, 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 a layman yeah. <laughs> than yeah. be high up. But then Esau pull your car when he get ready, man. And hold you in the front yeah. of the mask. What, Terry Crews, that, that little feeble, he might came and grab me yeah. and ride in front of his wife. You know? That's what I said, fuck up. You know? So yeah, man, like, yeah. we just ain't gonna stay down until we get that real power and everything else come after that, man. You know? Hey, with that, we're gonna brush the CC number five. Once again, we're gonna give all of you glory to the hour by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Kagadash. Never understood our elder apostles and elder bishops of great wisdom and wealth. Peace and blessings, health and waters, and I'll stay with you. Lex, a bob, a bob, a bob, a bob. Come out, Shah. Come out, Shah. Hey, how about my Shah? Shah, Shah, Shah. 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 Shah.